If you want to see all the nail polish looks I created this past month, and you want to see me reveal the next two colors, then stick around. Hi there, it's Hélène, and welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome to HMM Makeup, or hmm, makeup. I am talking nail polish uh, today, and I'm super excited. This is a uh, nail polish advent calendar from Siati London. It has been a gift from Steph for the last two years. Thank you so much, Steph. If you do not know my friend Steph from Ireland, I will put her channel right there. Please go say hi. Steph Lyons is, in French we would say de l'or en bord. Um, she is a beautiful human being just spilling with beauty and and love and she's just a fantastic human being. I am so fortunate to call her my friend, met her through YouTube, as many uh, of us YouTubers uh, end up connecting with each other. And uh, yeah, lovely, lovely person. And she has uh, graced me with um, Mini Manny Month again for 2022. And uh, I have, have been really enjoying it. If you uh, want to take a look at past episodes, just um, episodes, past videos, uh, you can take a look at uh, my channel and just type in Mini Manny and they should all pop up for you. Okay, so uh, this is this year's uh, calendar and I have been opening up two boxes per month. It's perfect because there are 24 boxes and 12 months in the year, so I reveal two new shades every single uh, month. And so we are going to go into uh, 19 and 20, but we're not going to do it right away. I'm going to talk about the various looks that I did with nail polish first, and then I'm going to go into this puppy and we will take a look at shades number 19 and 20. Okay, so here we go. The first combo was this one. Uh, and this is Cupcake Queen, and this is a an e.l.f. nail polish topper that is does not have a name, just it doesn't have a name. It came as a set of 10, and um, the e.l.f. nail polish is really good, um, but they don't have it on a regular basis. So if you ever see e.l.f. nail polish available, grab it because it's actually really good quality. I've, I've been really impressed and the toppers specifically are the things I prefer the most from the brand, although they have beautiful neutrals, um, beautiful neutral sets as well. So anyway, this, this was a, a very pretty combination and uh, I ended up using this nail polish which is called Cupcake Queen. Um, I don't know why I'm forgetting the name but it is a new addition from the Mini Many Month Advent Calendar and I'm very happy to have been able to use it. The next look is an old favorite. It is the Wet n Wild nail polish in, what's it called, Creme Noir, and um, topped with the Sephora uh, Firework. Pretty sure it's Firework. Um, so this is a, a beautiful combo. I have done this combo before, really enjoyed it, and uh, would recommend it. Wet n Wild nail polish. I bought this for Halloween one year and discovered just how good Wet n Wild nail polish is. It's pretty good. And it comes in, I think it's 13.5 mil. No, um, pardon me, 12.3 uh, mil, still a huge amount. 0.41 fluid ounces for uh, my American friends. And uh, it, it's beautiful, plus it has a really long wand. And I find that easier to use compared to other nail polishes. And I've used so much of it, I'm down to here. <laughs> I definitely really like it. And it makes me want to buy more Wet n Wild nail polishes because my experience with the black has been so good. This next combo was inspired by my previous look, and that is this Deborah Lippman out last night. And it does dry down uh, pretty dark, and, but that's good. It's like a purpley blue, almost like a, a royal purple is what I would call it. And then I used this Ciate uh, Party Popper, I think it's called, yeah, from last year's advent calendar. Uh, I think it was last year, and I really enjoyed 
this uh, this combo and this this topper overall, I would love using it in every look, frankly. But I try to to mix things up for obvious reasons because part of this video is to inspire different uh, nail polish looks and uh, for us to go and play in our collection. So this uh, this combo I liked a whole lot. Uh, I knew I would, but I liked it more than I even expected. Out of all of the looks, I think that this combo was my favorite. And these were two new ones that I picked out of the advent calendar this past uh, month. And this first one is called Desert Storm. And this next one is called I Want Candy. So Desert Storm and I Want Candy. And they are a beautiful combination, especially with this one as a topper on the ring finger or pinky, it is a really nice trio. As you can tell, I was really a big fan of the e.l.f. Um, sparkly uh, topper there. I just kept using it over and over again. And this is another combo that I really enjoyed. I am very big on this color from Siati called Pepperminty. And then this one over here is Splash. And it looks just gold, but it has gold, uh, blue, and fuchsia, fuchsia violet in here. And Splash does not disappoint. And I felt like this was a really nice combo with this one as an accent uh, topper on one of my fingers. So uh, really nice combination. It's a combination I've done before, and I, I just know it's going to look good uh, every time I use it. Another one that I really liked, and it was, it's, it's, it's a little soft but edgy at the same time, and it's great for if you need a work-appropriate look, if you work in an office or you need, you need something, um, uh, a pairing that is going to work well in a, a more subdued or somber environment, this would, this would work well. So this is, what's the name of it? Sally Hansen Miracle Gel in Love Me Lilac. This is the, the main color. And then I topped it on one finger with Good as Gold. And this is a Ciate um, shade. And they are a match made in heaven. Although Good as Gold is a beautiful topper that works on so many things. Ciate toppers in general are really, really good. Uh, the, they make a very nice topper product. And so I don't hesitate to match Ciate with a bunch of other options um, as, as I go. And another beautiful combo. It makes me think of the minty combo I just showed you. Uh, this is Pillow Fight, which is a relatively new one for me. And it was topped with Purple Rain. I believe it was on the ring finger and it just looked amazing as a combo and this is it's a purple but it's a purple that has a little bit of a purple hue just just a smidge and I think that that's why it goes so well with purple rain I, I really like this combo quite a bit and now a one of my absolute favorites from Siate paired with a brand new one that I revealed last month is this paparazzi and you can see how much I've used. Uh, this, I think it's my second bottle, actually. There was paparazzi in another advent calendar. And then this one is Stay Golden and quite an opaque one. So it's not a topper, but I used Stay Golden on one of my fingers and uh, paparazzi on the rest of the fingers. And you can actually see it right there. That is <laughs> my nail polish look for today. And it's a little rough. Um, for a few reasons. Life has been really interesting the last 72 hours, let me just tell you. Um, so if I have rough nails, uh, it's it pales in comparison with what's been going on. So, so please give me a little bit of latitude. Um, life has thrown a hell of a curveball. Uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, I do really like this this combo and I did it twice. The first time I actually had this color on the, on the um, pinky over paparazzi and it didn't it kind of the, they mixed together even though paparazzi should have been dry but it's so pigmented i think it just bled through um and so the second time which is what i'm showing you now uh, i decided to just put that color only that color not on top of paparazzi 
uh, this this time around. So uh, I really like the effect. I think that the gold goldy peach looks looks pretty darn good. And I would do this combo again. I think it's 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 very professional looking dark red, and then just a, a little a little little sprinkle of spice on the ring finger. I, I really enjoyed the combo. wasn't sure what I would think of it, but it turns out I, I liked it quite a bit. And finally, this is not a combo, but I do want to talk about it because I revealed them last time, and it is the base coat and top coat. Uh, from Siate, and I just just used them both and just decided to see what they were like. And I don't I don't mind them. I don't think that they are the best base and top coat there is, but did they work fine? Yes. And so they're and in the advent calendar they work fine. I will definitely use them up um, as I go. And I would say that they're not, they're not bad, they're not great, but they're just a reasonable, solid product that, because it's in the advent counter, came to me pretty inexpensive. So there you have it. Eight looks for uh, this past month. I can't believe that I got that many done um, for the, the month of September. But I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with the combos. I keep coming up with um, some new ones. I do go back to some uh, favorites because I don't want to not <laughs> play around with my favorite combos as well. I sprinkle them in here and there. Um, let me know what you thought of the looks. If you have some favorite combos that you want to share with us, please leave me a comment. It doesn't matter if it's Siate brand or, or other brands, but even just a a description of the color combos that you would do. I would love to hear. And if you have some ideas for some special toppers that come from different brands as well, it would be nice to uh, try different things. Uh, whatever works for you that you want to share. Um, I, for one, am all ears. So that's it for all the combos, but now I get to show you the two new nail polishes that I'm revealing from the advent calendar. So let's go right to that. Again, a big thank you to Steph for this advent calendar again this year. And I am going straight into the boxes. And I think it's, yeah, I finished with 18 last time. So we have 19 and 20 to reveal today, so let me do that. And there's a saying usually, it says, decide your own vibe, perfect. And this is definitely a unique vibe. It is kind of a baby blue with a gray tone. Oh, and it's called, ha, huh, it's called Ice Scream. Ice Scream. So here we go. Here's the color. And it is beautiful. I'm going to have a lot of fun trying this out. It's, yeah, like a, I would say, a baby blue, but baby blue, baby blue and vanilla ice cream maybe mix. <laughs> but it's very pretty. So again, Ice Scream. And now we have 20, which is right here. So let me open that one. It's it's like it's a baby blue and uh, baby pink and uh, the baby pink is called Seize the Clay. Okay, Seize the Clay. Fine. Um, <laughs> let me show you the two. I, weird names, but all right. And it looks like just a baby pink and a baby blue, and I don't mind getting these back to back. I think they're cute. I really think they're cute. I would prefer to have them, I think, more like in the April time frame, but eh, I can deal with this for the fall. No problem. I might actually pair them because I think that they, they do go together. Why not? Let's give it a shot. And in the box it said, oh, that's really nice. The good gets better. That's a really nice saying. I appreciate that. All right, so we revealed two more, uh, 19 and 20. 
And so there's only 21, 22, 23, 24, which makes sense because there's only November and December left in the year. And I will finish the calendar at the right time um, as we wrap up 2022. Can you believe it? I'm already talking about the end of the year. Thanks. <laughs> So again, super happy with these two colors. And I can tell you, I'm probably going to pair ice cream with uh, this one called Purple Rain. I just think that that is a combo made in heaven, obviously. I might just do that. Um, but they, they do represent a little bit of a challenge in making it a kind of a statement look when they are more on the pastel-y uh, I don't know if you can see the colors when I'm too far away. Um, more on the pastel. I think this is the easy one, uh, but I do want to kind of combine them in one look. I think it would be good. So now at this point, I'm repeating myself. So a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at minimum eight looks that I showed you today. And, uh, and the two reveals. So I'm very happy. I love this advent calendar again this year. I appreciate it so much. And uh, with that, I will say thank you so much for watching. I love the comments and I love the, uh, the views every single time. It just tells me that you like what it is that I'm doing. And if you have any suggestions, obviously, uh, for this nail polish monthly video, I am all ears. I love to hear from you. With that, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every time, as I said, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. But for now, Take care.